Hello and welcome. In this video, I explain to you what an analysis of variance, a so-called ANOVA is, and how you can calculate it. There are different types of analyses of variance. This video is about the one-way or single-factor analysis of variance without measurement repetitions. And that's where we start. The first question is, why do you need an analysis of variance at all? What does an analysis of variance do? An analysis of variance checks whether there are statistically significant differences between more than two groups. Therefore, the analysis of variance is the extension of the t-test for independent samples to more than two groups. When calculating an independent t-test, we looked at whether there is a difference, or more precisely a difference in means, between two independent groups. For example, if there is a difference in the salary of men and women. In this case, we have two groups, the men's group and the women's group. If we want to compare more than two independent groups, we use the analysis of variance. In case of the t-test, we used an independent t-test if the two groups or samples were independent. This is the case if one person in the first group has nothing to do with a person from the second group. Exactly the same now applies to the analysis of variance without repeated measures. Except that here we have at least three independent samples. If we have more than two dependent samples, we would use an analysis of variance with repeated measures. Now let's look at an example. Let's say that as the founder of DataTab, I might be interested in whether there are differences in the age between people who use DataTab, SPSS or R. In order to do this, I take a sample of people who use statistical software and ask them which statistical software they use and how old they are. I've only compared three groups in this example, of course there could also be more groups. In order to analyze this example, I would now use an ANOVA. So the next question is, what is the research question I can answer with using an ANOVA? The research question is, is there a difference in the population between the different groups of the independent variable in relation to the dependent variable? The independent variable is the variable with the different categories. In our example, it is the statistic software used. Here we have the three groups, DataTab, SPSS and R. The dependent variable in our example is the age of the software users. We would like to know whether the groups of the independent variables have an influence on the dependent variable. Of course, the analysis of variance does not give us any information about the direction of the causal relationship. But why is our research question about the population? Don't we just have a sample? Actually, we want to make a statement about the population. Unfortunately, in most cases, it is not possible to survey the whole population and we can only draw a sample. The aim is to make a statement about the population based on our sample with the help of the analysis of variance. For our example, the question would be, is there a difference between the users of different statistical software solutions in terms of age? But what about the hypotheses? In the case of the analysis of variance, the null hypothesis is that there are no differences between the means of the individual groups. We have our individual groups of which we can calculate the mean in each case and our null hypothesis is that there is no difference in the mean in the population. The alternative hypothesis H1 is that there is a difference between at least two group means. Therefore, our null hypothesis assumes that there is no difference and the alternative hypothesis says that there is a difference. All well and good, now we know what the null hypothesis is, but what does this mean graphically? How can one picture that vividly? Let's say we want to test whether there is a difference in salary between the three groups, group 1, group 2 and group 3. 
The salary has some dispersion. Some people earn 400 euros a month, some 2,600 and others 6,000 euros a month. Thus, both in the population and in our sample, the salary is broadly distributed. Now the question is, where does this variation come from? And can we explain some of the variation by these three groups? So how much of the variation in salary can we explain by dividing the people into these three groups? In the extreme case, the result could be that the salary in group 1 has this distribution, in group 2 that distribution and in group 3 the distribution would look like this. In this case, the division into groups could explain a lot of variance in the variable salary. The result would be different in this case. Here, however, we could explain almost no variance by forming the three groups. Within the groups, the variance is almost the same as in the whole sample. Therefore, it does not matter whether we form the groups or not. The three groups have nearly no influence on the salary. If we now look at the variance within the groups, we can see that in this case we have very small variances within the groups. So within this group we have a very small variance, within that group we have a small variance and also in the last group. On the other hand, the variance between the groups is very large because the mean values of the individual groups are very far apart. In the other case, we have a very large variance within the groups. However, the variance between the groups is very small because the mean values of the groups are very close together. How can we calculate an ANOVA? There are two possibilities for the calculation. Either you use a statistics software like DataTab or you calculate the analysis of variance by hand. Admittedly, no one will calculate the analysis of variance by hand, but the knowledge is very helpful to understand more precisely how an analysis of variance works. In this video, I show you how you can easily calculate an analysis of variance online with DataTab. To calculate an analysis of variance with DataTab, just visit datatab.net. You can find the link in the video description below. Then you copy your own data into this table and click on this tab. Under this tab, you will find a variety of hypotheses tests. Here below, you can see the variables you copied into the table. Depending on which variables you select, DataTab will calculate the appropriate hypothesis test. If you click on a metric variable and a nominal variable with at least three characteristics, DataTab calculates an analysis of variance. Here you can read the p-value. If you don't know exactly how to interpret the p-value, just get the summary in words above. Furthermore, you can check the assumptions of the analysis of variance here. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.